Hi everybody, Brian from Witch Doctor here. Thanks for joining. It's been a while. I've had a really busy year thus far. I had to move homes and uh, shot a lot of matches, but uh, now it's the off season. Still some matches going on in the off season, but not as much, so I'm able to do a little bit of testing here and there. Did a follow-up testing to some of my um, amp press studies where we looked at lubricating the interior of the case neck and different procedures. Had a couple viewers ask about whether um, cleaning with corn cob media has the same effect as brushing the interior uh, of the case. So after the case is fired, um, then you take the case, clean off the neck area there with steel wool. Well, at least this is, this is what I do. And then the second procedure I do is run a brush in there to get any loose residual carbon out of the neck. Uh, then I anneal and then I size case. So basically someone was saying was, well, instead of brushing, so eliminate that procedure, just simply drop it in some corn cob media and let it run. And I said, okay, I do, I do use corn cob media once in a while, not often, but sometimes I use it with this polish. And when you're done cleaning that out, the case looks nice and clean and everything. But uh, again, I rarely do that. I normally um, just clean the outside of the neck, scrub the inside of the brush, uh, inside with a brush, uh, and then anneal and size. But um, periodically I will use this, especially on high volume. <laughs> so if I go out and I shoot a, uh, a a match and I have 300 brass cases that are all dirty, I'll just go ahead and use the corn cob media. But when I do pull the brass out, I clean out the corn cob out of it, and then I actually go through and brush the interior case neck. But that wasn't the question. The question was, can the corn cob media replace the brushing process so i went ahead and did that i took 15 cases where i used the brushing process and then i took 15 separate cases and i ran them through the core cob media without using the brushing process and interestingly enough when i went to seat the bullets in the amp press i found something interesting with the brushed necks which are the orange colored and red colored um, lines in the graph here. Um, I found that the overall sort of seating pressure was was higher than in the lime group here. This is the corn cob cleaned <laughs> brass. So you can see overall the seating pressure for the corn cob brass was lower. There were a few outliers here in the brush neck area where it was consistent with the corn cob, but you can see almost a pretty good split there in between the two populations where the brush necks had higher overall pressure seating pressure and then the corn cob media didn't. I am going to go ahead and take a guess that it's probably because of this polish that <laughs> the polish that I put in the corn cob media um, winds up essentially lubricating the neck a little bit. Not a lot because again the seating force is up there in the 40s or the 50s. Um, so it doesn't lubricate it that great. What I find is that actually NeoLube 2, when you put some of this lubrication inside the case neck, it lubricates it really well so that you get actually a lot less than 40, um, the, the 40 in terms of pressure there, and you get a lot more uniformity. So um, this definitely helps um, to get you good uniformity. Anyway, so it seems like this polish did have a little bit of an effect. It did bring down the overall force it took to size a case. But let's look at the groups. and Because I went out and I shot the groups. And what I found was with the corn cob media, my group sizes were much larger than with the brushed uh, procedure. Um, almost double in size, in fact. So I went out and I shot with the brushed. Uh, I had two groups in the ones, one group in the low two, and for the corn cob, everything was above two. And the average for the corn cob was 0.2989, and the average for the brush group was 0.1717, uh, which is a difference of about 0.1273. So anyway, all that to say is, uh, it, it seems like, yeah, you may get a slight lubrication 
uh, using the corn cob media, but you absolutely don't get uh, the type of precision that you would get if you brushed the interior of the case neck. So um, anyway, I do recommend that you just brush the interior of the case neck and do not rely on corn cob media to to provide that function where you, I guess, remove some slight residual carbon within the neck. All right, everybody, thank you for tuning in. More tests to come here really soon. Please subscribe, like, and share. And also, please go to my Patreon and help provide the support needed to continue these tests. Thank you.